Let's go. Nick showed up and he's on. Oh, he the hole. Yeah, don't make a mistake, I made. Oh, that's a good one. Oh Long my. Well, everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. I'm just leaving my house right now currently. It is 10.53 a.m. in the morning, saying goodbye to my puppies, and that is because I am beginning, this is day one, beginning of a trip that might go down as one of the most epic ice fishing trips that I may ever take. Today's video is something that I never thought I'd actually be doing, but I am gonna be traveling all the way to Montana and I am going to be fishing for a species of fish that I have never targeted through the ice and believe it or not I've only caught one of these fish in my entire life open water or ice fishing so I am extremely pumped but this is where today's video starts I am currently in central Wisconsin and I have to drive all the way meet up with some buddies in Fargo North Dakota and once I get there then we're gonna finish off the drive tonight and drive into Montana. I believe the drive for me is about 16 hours, so it is definitely gonna be a grind. We are driving all throughout the night, but I wanted to pick up the camera, start today's video right here, show you guys kind of the journey on how I'm getting there and uh, who I'm gonna be fishing with today, what we're gonna be doing. So today's video should be a good one. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I'm super pumped. This is gonna be one hell of a way to finish out the ice fishing season. And man, let's get it started. Well, first stop, we stopped at the local quick trip, which is usually how all trips start. Ended up getting a pizza, cause it's gonna be a long road trip. And then I got some G Fuel, some Coke, some Coke some G Fuel and some G Fuel. If you guys don't know what G Fuel is, it's, uh, well, it's a gaming energy drink, but yeah, it'll it'll keep you up, that is for sure. So I guess this will probably be the last time I pick up the camera while I'm in Wisconsin. I'm just gonna try to pound out as much of this drive as I possibly can. So most likely the next time I pick up the camera is either gonna be at a gas station somewhere in Minnesota or when I get to North Dakota. So, I will see you guys then. Well, little midday update for you guys. I'm currently pulled over on the side of the road because I was about to freaking pee my pants, so I had to stop on over and do the deed. But, holy cow, I am about an hour away from Fargo right now. The drive in the beginning was actually pretty nice. Roads were nice. And then all of a sudden I got through the cities of Minnesota and pretty much all hell broke loose. There was just a random blizzard that popped up and then it started to sleet and freezing rain and the roads got really, really bad. On the way just from the cities to where I am right now, I probably saw about, I don't know, 10 to 15 semis and just different vehicles in the ditch, flipped. I mean, just tons of crazy stuff. So, you know, I've been taking my time, taking some precautions, driving safe obviously so I can get there and have a good time this weekend but yeah just wanted to pick up the camera give you guys an update right now it's currently it's not snowing or anything the roads are still kind of kind of bad they have been sending some plow trucks and stuff salting it and whatnot but so far we're kind of just I know we're gonna take our time we're gonna get there when we get there and what I've noticed so far about being this far west because I don't come out this way very often is that it is windy. If I step away from my truck, you can probably hear how freaking windy it is in this freaking state. It is insane. There's like not that many trees and it's pretty much as flat as the eye can see. So that is definitely something I'm not used to, but I'm gonna get back on the road. I'm not gonna get there while sitting here. So get back on the road and I'll see you guys when I get to Fargo. Wow. Well, everybody, I have officially made it to Fargo, North Dakota. This is the very first stop 
on the trip and like I said in the beginning I'm gonna be meeting up with some people showing you guys who that is and uh, we're gonna go onward on our way to Montana I'm gonna have to text him because I'm not sure exactly how to get into this place but if I walk over here go ahead you probably already know whose truck this is I'm gonna give you a sneak peek so I'm gonna have to get on my phone call him have him come down here and meet me but I am with John from Mindac Outdoors and if you guys don't know John and I we go way back we have been friends for quite some time actually and we plan this trip and I am I'm just more than thrilled so I'm gonna go ahead give him a call here have him come down and meet me so we can get all of our stuff inside his house well 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 look at who it is the man the myth the legend Mr. Stash Boy What's going on there? Well, you know what they say, when you go out west to catch lake trout, you go out with a mustache, baby. Well guys, you can see I'm with John. If you guys don't know who he is, I'm sure you probably do, but if you don't, he has a channel on YouTube called Mindac Outdoors, and he's he's kind of a hammer. Well, sometimes. Hopefully on this trip no, he's- No, I'm not a hammer. I'm definitely not a hammer, Nick. Okay, but you know what? We have good times with him. So if you guys want to check him out, it'll be down in the description, but this is who one of the guys, one of the key parts, to this trip uh, we are meeting up with a few other guys so I'll have to bring out the camera once we get to their place right now we're in Fargo North Dakota first stop like I was saying we got a long trip ahead of us we are driving throughout the night and uh, we're supposed to, I guess Fargo is actually in a blizzard warning so mm. hopefully going out west that bypasses us and we have a safe nice drive throughout the night cuz it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one so we're gonna go ahead, get out to the vehicles, and I'll see you guys when we meet up with the other guys. So, did not pick up the camera when we got to the other house to pick up the other guys. I am currently in a truck with John, and we also did pick up Jacob Sweary. This guy has not been on the channel, but he's an absolute beauty that claps the crap out of pretty much anything that swims. Uh, that's of, accurate. Right, that's pretty accurate. Dude, we have the best fishermen on this trip in here, and the worst. Same truck. Yeah. Same I'm somewhere truck. in the middle, I think, but yep. <laughs> we're gonna see. So if you guys want to check out his channel, uh, he also has a YouTube channel or his Instagram. I'll leave that down below. Definitely would recommend it because you'll be seeing a lot of big fish catches. So we got us three in John's truck, and we did meet up with three other guys. Um, they're actually from the Smack 'Em Outdoors channel. So if you guys are familiar with anything, pretty much goose hunting. Um, you probably know who Smack Em Outdoors is. So they're in the other vehicle right now. And um, I'm sure once we get there, we're on our way right now. So I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna pick up the camera again because we do have a seven hour drive. We're gonna just try to pound this out and stay awake here. But whenever I see them and we get out maybe for gas or something, I'll, I'll bring the camera out and uh, let them introduce themselves. So we made it to the first spot. We were filling up on gas. Here are the other boys that we will be fishing with. I'd stay up wind, I just tooted. We got Dustin over here. I'm sure Hello. if you watch uh, any of John's videos or just, you know, any of their channel, you probably, uh, you know, know that these guys slap. I don't know about ice fishing though. Are you guys gonna, gonna uh, get you it You know, done? I like shooting geese, but a lake trout, a lake trout has, it's, it's what gets my Show me how off big, like, what, what's the size we're gonna catch this weekend? I don't know, it's like three and a half inches big, because, that's pretty big, right? Yeah, it's that big. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is who we are fishing with. Like I said, we are at our first gas station stop somewhere in the middle of North Dakota. We got about six more hours to go, I think, here. I'm gonna get back in the truck because it's absolutely freezing. It's super windy out here. And I will probably pick up the camera when we make it to our destination. Well, good morning, everybody. It is now daylight it feels like it has been nighttime for literally forever so it actually feels weird we've been in montana for a couple hours now but i had no idea what this place even looks like this is my first time ever in montana so i didn't even know what to expect obviously i knew it was going to be flat and uh, not many trees um and that's that's definitely true like i'm looking in that direction i can literally just see it like as far as my eye can see it's it's insane but we are outside the bait shop obviously i got all my clothes on right now did not show this because it was dark, but this is uh, this is the rig that we're going to be taking out and hauling us. This is a little 
I don't I don't know what this thing's doing back here. We'll have to uh we'll have to see how that thing goes. But here's the bait shop right back there. We just went inside and don't just got all the baits. Like. Yeah, you wanna tell us about that quick? Well you apparently I had to buy an off-road registration for that thing because it's so freaking crazy, but we're gonna be jumping cracks today. Just just wait. Yeah, the ice report, uh, the weather's been crazy. I don't know if I told you guys, but we are at Fort Peck in Montana, obviously, and this lake is absolutely enormous. I believe it's like 230,000 acres. The biggest lake I fish at home is like two, 3,000. So this is nothing like I've ever done. This is big water. There's gonna be some cracks. Um, the ice thickness is gonna change, this current, a whole lot of good stuff. So, we got everything rigged up, we got our licenses, we got our baits. Now, the most exciting part of the video is finally here. We're going to head out to the lake and attempt to catch my very first lake trout through the ice. So let's go do it. Well, we got the rig all ready. We brought way too much stuff. Gonna be running the GoPro here, sitting on the back right here. <laughs> This should be interesting. Well, we are out on the ice. Zero snow. This is the most bizarre thing ever. Yeah, wow. All right, you guys, so day number two. I apologize for the no content yesterday, but we were extremely tired, fished, you know, as much as we could, and just really couldn't get anything dialed in. None of us actually caught any besides Dustin, but we we're out here day two, trying a different spot, and we've already been out here. It is Sweary over there, and John just finished taking a pee over there. And we've been on this spot actually for maybe a good hour or so. And I think we've marked probably eight fish, I wanna say at this point. And I did just hook up, so I will play that clip right now. Oh man, Nick is on. Oh man, Nick is on. He's like right, right here. Oh, oh. no, he's, he's right there. Oh. Oh. He's like, like that, probably. Oh, damn. <laughs> you could say, hey, I have a fish. I saw him. <laughs> Are you good? I'm good. I don't think there's anything. No, that. Can. Are you okay? No, that's what I. That, that's good enough right now. <laughs> that's good enough. I don't think there's anything else you could have done. No, he just popped off yeah. right there. Unfortunately, that fish ended up coming off which would have been my first lake trout through the ice ever. So that is a little heartbreaking, but this hole has been uh, pretty consistent with marks coming through maybe every 10, 15 minutes, I wanna say. And they have been chasing. I did switch up. Yesterday I was using a bigger size rattle bait and today I'm using a white tube, which is what pretty much everybody uses around here. But why not use it if it works? I already had him up to the hole. I already looked at him. Well, Dustin's hooked up. I can't catch a fish, save my life, but luckily everybody else can. Wow, he's looks like he's got some power. He does. This is the slugger too. Oh, got some guys randomly pulling up on us right now for who knows what reason. That's hilarious. It's nice, but it's not like giant. 
gear is so he's, awesome. He's slowing down and all. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's pretty nice. About the size of the one I caught, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's not bad. Let's go. <laughs> Freaking like six minutes later, jeez. That was Dawson's fish. People rolled up on us and we told them we're not catching any, so. Just stick out here, stick out here real quick. We'll cover you. Yeah. Alright, you guys, hopefully you can hear me. It is ungodly windy out here. There are no trees, no shoreline at all that protect us from the wind. What I'm using while I'm out here. As you can see, I didn't uh, I didn't do any updates on how anything went. I am back at the hotel. Suri's over there, chilling. John is in the bathroom. And, um, yeah, day number two. Wow, what a grind that was. I think we fished for how long? 12 hours? <sighs> Obviously, I hooked up with that one fish right away in the morning. And after that, marked maybe about four others and didn't catch anything. John also didn't catch anything. Sweary finally caught one, and the rest of the boys caught a bunch, actually. But, things I learned on day two, um, well, <laughs> we figured out a spot, I think. That's key. So we're definitely gonna have a spot for tomorrow morning to where we actually feel confident that there are gonna be lake trout going through. Also, um, I think we got our baits kind of figured out a little bit more the first day i was using a rattle bait and that just was not working and then uh had the one on the tube but there's a few other things that have been catching fish so we kind of are getting a better game plan of what's going on here so hopefully day three we can start putting it together we're really really tired we just ate dinner and all of us are ready to head to bed john is here rubbing his nipples <laughs> and <laughs> We're probably gonna end up going to bed here. I'm gonna real quick show you guys this amazing establishment that John happened to find. If you guys are in the Fort Peck area, uh, there's not many hotels. Actually, how many is this the only this hotel? This is the only hotel. This is actually the only hotel. Um, it is a very old place, historic they say, <laughs> and um, it, is well. it is very <laughs> antique, is what I should say. Um, but it does the job. It's got beds and that's it. That's all we need, I guess, because that's all it actually has. Well, and the sink. But look, 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 the, the things don't come out far enough. So yeah, like, if you want hot I... water, it's hot. You want cold water? It, yeah. Kind of like having two, I don't know. Either way, we're really tired. I don't even know what's going on at this point, but I will see you guys in the morning for day number three. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back, day three, out on Fort Peck, and we got out here at a really early time actually. We woke up with a ton of ambition because day two actually gave us a little bit of hope to hopefully land some more lake trout today. First spot is actually the first spot we started at yesterday, but it is just Sweary and I out here because the other guys wanted to go to the location that we ended the day on yesterday, which was pretty gas, but right away in the morning yesterday, Sweary and I actually did mark a lot of fish and we had a couple on. So this is where we're gonna be starting and hoping to get some lake trout. So I'm gonna go ahead. We got all of our holes already drilled out, get the long rod and see if we can get it done. Why, what happened? Really? We'll figure it out. We'll see you probably soon. But. All right, Sweary, we shall leave. Because that was John Lehman. 
Uh, they already caught one that was pretty nice. John lost one at the hole and they marked eight fish. Eight fish? Eight. Oh, let her rip. here that we're talking this is all open and uh, not safe to cross so we're gonna have to find a spot where we can do that the other guys they have long planks so the four-wheeler can get across but uh, the mini bike we do not have that luxury so we're probably gonna have to find just a thin spot and jump it to be honest with you Good, baby. Back on the road. Easy rip. That was easy. What um, is up? As soon as I hung up the phone, I got pranked. And I had a fing fatty on. Really? Yep, got him, I had him right here. Like, so you lost two of the hole? Yep, I lost another fatty. I lost a big one at the hole. I, I, I think I'm pulling too hard. Once I get, once I get like right here, I'm like, I need to loosen my drag or like stop pulling so hard. And just let it kind of like do its thing for a little bit. He did like a head shake and it just popped right out. On. John. I'm on. Showed up to the freaking John spot. I didn't even have time to turn on my GoPro. This fish already freaking hit. Immediately. How far is he up? He's pretty much right here. It came up like so fast, it was insane. Let's go, Nick showed up and he's on. <laughs> yeah, don't make a mistake I made. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my. Good. You excited right now? <laughs> I'm excited right now, yes. No, you don't look excited. No, I'm just like concentrating. Let him run. Wear him out before you get him to the hole. Yeah. Got the Mr. Big Ben. She's she's bending. How, how they've tight been is your arm? they've been fighting like son of a bitch. I mean that run when I had. Yeah, it's fighting. I would say. <laughs> runs, I would definitely runs, say it's runs. fighting. Big head shakes. Let's go, Nick. Like I can't even do anything to it. It's yeah. just running. Oh yeah. That's awesome, bro. You can see him way down, too. God. This would be another 15 minutes. You snagged on bottom? <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. Literally. Jeepers creepers, dude. Fighting crazy. Like, did it feel heavy? Oh, yeah, it feels heavy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just had to ask. Mine felt twice as big as what it actually was. But, I mean, mine is still a nice fish, 10 pound fish yeah, or whatever, yeah. but. <laughs> The way it was going and running and I can't even like oh my god. Oh wow. Nice. Oh wow. Let's go. Just right up. Woo! It wasn't even that big, but wow. Let's go, baby. That was one crazy of a fight though. Holy cow, that was insane. If it ain't short truth, it ain't no use, it ain't I guess. No use. I was just telling John I was thinking about switching because everybody's been using white. But I guess no, that one didn't matter. I guess the spot is what matters. Okay, guys. Well, first lake trout through the ice ever. I'm pretty sure this is only like my second or third one that I've ever caught in my entire life. So that was 
crazy fight. I see why people come out and do this because, I mean, the fight is everything for sure. I didn't even have time, like I said, the market on my GoPro. It was just, it was there and I had to just reel and I wanted to make sure I caught the fish first. But still, one crazy of a fight. Got it all on film for you guys. And uh, yeah, this one, it's not too large. So we're probably actually going to keep this one because I would like to come home with a little bit of trout. And uh, yeah, that's crazy. We've just got to this spot, Sweary and I. Really, everybody's only been out for an hour or two. And uh, we got a lot of daylight left. But I actually couldn't make any ground. Like, I could have tightened my drag and ripped up on him, but like... What I'm scared about is when I set the hook, my, my drag not being... I know, I have mine really tight right now. But like, when you have one hooked up, then you're... Oh, I just had one, John? Yeah, I see one on the bottom. Jason, Jason. Oh. On. Your socks? Oh, baby. Oh. Woo I mean, just, you can wear them out again, like you were saying. Nick well, has one! Do you need me to do anything? Just the decent, I guess. Is it already at leader? Yeah, uh, yeah, just chill though. He's gonna freak out. It's a big one. It's a big one. Bigger than the last? Yes, yes, bigger than the last. He's yeah, you need yeah, just I would just let him. I have my drag low. I have it low. Yeah. He has it engulfed, you're not gonna lose him. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy fatty! Oh yeah, that's a nice one. What, what kind of, the heck? That dude? fight was like nothing. He came Look right how up. Fatty is though, dude. <laughs> what an absolute football of a lake trout. So I caught that first one, and heck of a fight. A lot smaller of a fish. This one's your PB. <laughs> this one's definitely my PB for sure. And it only happened about ten minutes after we freaking caught it. Ken, super slimy. Chill, buddy. Chill. Chill. 29 and a half. But it's chunky. Just the fattest. But I probably am going to release this fish just because I already caught and kept one. Man. Fatty. It's <laughs> just so fat. I don't know what Bud was doing there on that release, but hey, he's gone. That was so cool on this clear ice too. You can see him right away. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing because if you lose him, you definitely can see him for sure. But hey, we're two for two. As soon as I pulled up to this spot, it is just gas. And unlike the other days, so last night we actually made the switch. I went with a lighter leader line and a longer leader line before i was honestly i was thinking i was using like 25 or 30 pound freaking mono i believe and then today i switched to 12 pound and made it probably like an eight foot leader versus the three that i had on and then decided to, to switch it to a heavier tube head so yesterday i was using a three quarter today i'm using an ounce and switched to a chartreuse everybody's been using white and I wanted to try chartreuse, and so far it has been working. All right, you guys. Well, actually, what's going to be happening here is going to be ending the video. John and I are still in the shack, just jigging away. Action has been extremely hot this morning, but the reason why I'm ending this video is because it has been three freaking days that I have been trying to film this bad boy, and I finally accomplished my goal which was to catch a lake trout on film and i accomplished that so we're going to be out here all freaking day i want to bring as much content as i possibly can without dragging out a super extremely long video are you going to catch one i want to say yes but i oh okay i am lucky. actually yeah he's not acting aggressive though at all but yeah actually i i'm really hoping i do catch a fish um no promises though this one is chasing me now he's being a little booger. He knows the camera's out, guys. Well, like I said, fish all over the place. John and I are going to be in here all day. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a long one, and I know I had a lot of, well, a little bit of everything. It had me getting to the spot in Montana. It had us struggling. It had us succeeding. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. 
ice fishing, unfortunately, honestly, is coming to an end. I know February is a tough month. Uh, it's been a struggle for me, and I know it's been a struggle for all, probably all you guys as well. But March, to me, is not about the ice fishing. It is about open water, so you guys can expect probably a few more ice fishing videos, and then we're going to make the switch. So we're going to get the jigging. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you on the next one, Tight Lines from NB Edits.